In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome and dynamic stomp text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, we first want to begin by creating a brand new text layer. So we'll go up into the T icon, select anywhere on our canvas, and we'll just type out our first word. So I'm going to do awesome. Now my font is black, so I'm just going to select all of that. We'll go over to the character window, select this fill color box, and we'll change this to a color of your choice. Now from here, I'm just going to increase the size of this font. So I'll put that roughly there at around 120 pixels. And we'll just move this over to the left. Now from here, I'm just going to create a copy of that text. So we'll select the awesome layer, hold command C and command V. So we've got two texts and we'll type out our second word. So I'm going to do stomp and then we'll select that text layer, press P on the keyboard to load position and we'll move this over to the right. Now from here, I'm just going to create a copy of that text layer again. So we'll hold command C and V. We'll change this to our third letter and position this wherever you like. So I'm going to position this one underneath and then I'm going to increase the size of this font. So we're just going to put this to the left and we'll increase the title to a round. There we go. The font size is going to be 280 so that it matches up with the same width as awesome and stomp. So from here, you just want to go ahead and load the proportional grid, select all of those text layers and roughly put that in to the middle. And then we'll just get rid of the proportional grid. At the moment, we've got all of our text sitting on the timeline, but we want to animate each individual layer in. So to begin with, we're first going to start off by going to layer, new, null object. And in null object is essentially an adjustment layer, but for movement and motion. So if we link everything to a null object, it means that whenever we move the null object, everything connected to the null is going to move. So we're going to start by connecting all three of these text layers to that null object. So we'll select awesome stomp and effect. And we'll just select this pit whip tool here. So we've got parent pit whip, drag that onto null one. This means if we go into null one, if we increase the scale, we're all going to increase. If we go into position, they're all going to move rotation. They're all going to move. And this means we can now create some awesome motion on the text and all of those text layers will now be affected. So to begin with, we're first just going to start by hiding stomp and effect. Now we'll go roughly one second into the video. We'll go to awesome. We'll select the drop down arrow, go transform and we'll select position. Now we'll move over to the left a few frames and we're just going to create a brand new keyframe. And then we're just going to move the position of this over to the right. So about there. Now from here, we're going to go over to that second keyframe. So this is the resting position. And we're just going to create a rectangle mask around that text. So we'll just create this rectangle mask around the text. We'll go into mask one and create a brand new keyframe on mask path. Now we'll go back to that first keyframe on the position. We'll go back to mask path and we'll move the position of this mask over to the left to completely hide the text. So we'll move this over to the left. So if we play this back, you'll see we've got the word animating in and that looks really awesome. So from here, we're going to do the exact same thing with the next word. So we've got awesome. The next word is going to be stomp. So we're just going to turn the stomp layer on and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go into position. So we'll move roughly a few seconds over, a few frames over, create a brand new keyframe on position. So select the stopwatch icon. We'll move back on ourselves a few frames. This time we're going to push the position over to the left so that it is overlapping our text. Now from here, we'll go back to our second keyframe and we'll create a mask around this word. So rectangle mask and we'll just draw a rectangle mask around stomp. Go into mask one, mask path, a new keyframe on the stopwatch icon. We'll go back to that first frame. And like we did with the first there, we're just going to move this mask so that we can completely hide this title. So we're going to select our normal cursor and then we'll move this mask over to the right. So as you can see, it is now currently hidden. So the text is going to appear just from the side of the word awesome. 
So if we just render this out and we play this back from the very beginning, you'll notice we've got Awesome sliding in and then Stomp sliding in from behind Awesome. So Awesome, Stomp. That looks really awesome. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn on the last text layer. So we go up to Effect and we'll turn Effect on. We'll move roughly one second over to the right. We'll select position on effect. So we'll go into the drop down arrow, select transform position. We'll come back on ourselves by half a second, maybe. And then we'll just pull the position up. So that effect should be overlapping awesome and stomp. So we'll push this up and you want to make sure this is completely hidden behind awesome and stomp. So around there, that looks really good. So now we're going to go to the second keyframe. And like before, we're going to create a mask around this word. So we'll go to the rectangle tool and we'll draw this mask around the word effect. Go into mask one, mask path, create a brand new keyframe. And now we're going to go back on top of that first keyframe. So around here, and we're just going to pull that mask down. So we're just going to pull that mask down to around here. So now if we render this out and we play this back, you'll notice we've got awesome stomp effect. In my opinion, the effect was a little bit too slow. It wasn't quite dynamic enough. So I'm just going to select the two end keyframes and we'll move those over to the left. And the same goes for the word stomp. I'm just going to decrease that gap between the keyframes and we'll do awesome as well, just whilst we're at it, just to make this more dynamic. Now we're gonna render this out and play this back and you'll notice this looks a lot better. There we go. So now we need to go ahead and we need to animate the null object to follow the movement of the text animation. So let me show you how we're going to do that. So we go back up to the very beginning and we basically want to always put this text in the center. So from here, we're just going to load up the proportional grid and we're going to change the position of the null object to put awesome in the very center. So that is the very center. That looks really awesome. We're going to create a brand new keyframe on position just as this word comes in. So on the second set of keyframes on awesome, we'll create a brand new keyframe on position on the null object. Now we'll go back to these first keyframes. And as you can see, it's coming in from roughly here. So between these two grids, we're going to move the position of that over to the left. And you want this to match those first keyframes. So you want the keyframes and a null object to start on these frames and end on these keyframes. But just for ease, I'm just going to do this one keyframe over. We'll pull this over to the middle and then we can nudge that keyframe over to match the start of this word. So if I expand this, you'll quickly see what we're doing here. You've got the position coming in at the exact same time as the position on the word. So as the word animates in, the null object is moving over. So essentially you want everything to always be sitting in the middle. So the word animates from the middle. That looks really awesome. Now we can move to the next set of keyframes. So we'll go to the first set of keyframes on this word here on stomp. We'll create a new keyframe on position. Now we'll go to those second set of keyframes on the word stomp. We'll move up onto the null object and we'll move the position of this so that the text is now sitting back in the middle. Now we'll move over to the next set of keyframes on the word effect. Making sure we're in line with those keyframes, we'll create a brand new keyframe on position. We'll go to those last keyframes and we'll move the position of this up so that our text is now sitting smack bang in the middle where we first created it. And if we play this back, you'll notice we've got this really awesome stomp effect happening. Now that looks really great, but from here, we're just going to apply some motion blur to really take this to the next level. So selecting the timeline, you want to go command A, control A if you're on Windows, that's going to select everything. Select this motion blur button. If you can't find it, then go down to toggle switches slash modes. And that's going to flip between modes slash all of these other settings. Make sure you can see the motion blur tab. We'll select that box on all of the layers and then make sure this motion blur button is blue. And when we play this back, you'll notice that our stomp text effect is looking really awesome and really dynamic. Now, of course, with this effect, you're not just limited to animating the position. 
With the null object, you can adjust the scale, you can add some rotation, you can also adjust the anchor point to make your rotation and scale animation look different and more unique. But essentially, that is the basics of this effect. The dynamic stomp text effect is a really awesome and dynamic way of revealing your text, and it's a great way of attracting your audience's attention. So drop this into your next project, and I guarantee you it's going to look awesome.